In this video, I'm going to be telling you how I went from a stay-at-home mom in my 30s to an Amazon influencer in under 30 days. And don't worry, I don't have a course I'm trying to sell or an ebook. I'm just giving you the tips that work for me just in case you want to try it too. I know when I was focusing on just being a stay-at-home mom, I really wanted to find a way to bring in some income for myself just for spending money and to treat my family from time to time. There's so much content being put out about stay-at-home moms that seem to have limitless finances, but I just want to give you a realistic approach to what I'm doing. So I know that a lot of people think you have to have a lot of subscribers or followers on social media to get approved for the Amazon Influencer Program. And yes, you do have to apply for the program, but no, you don't have to have a ton of followers. For me, I don't even have a Facebook. On TikTok, I have less than 50 followers. On YouTube at that time, I had right at 2,000 subscribers. And on Instagram, which is the platform I use to apply for the Amazon Influencer Program, I had about 2,400 subscribers or followers. My Instagram following came from reselling. Before I began to find other ways to make money as a stay-at-home mom, I was pretty much a full-time reseller when my kids were in school. I sold on websites like eBay, Macari, and Poshmark, which I still do from time to time. So how do you apply for the program? For me, I was scrolling through Instagram Reels and I saw an ad pop up for the Amazon Influencer Program. And if you didn't know, they also have an Instagram account, which I highly recommend going ahead and following it because it can give you tips on how to get accepted into the program and more information about what the program is about. So I was scrolling through my reels and I saw an ad saying that I should apply for the program. So I went ahead and applied. It was a very quick application. I did it right there from the Instagram feed. So you did have to link your most popular account for social media or the one that you had the most subscribers or followers. So at that time, mine was Instagram. I'll be honest, at that time also, I wasn't very active on Instagram. It was just a bunch of scrolling and I rarely posted. A couple of hours after applying, I received an email saying that I had been accepted into the program and what the next steps were. So once you are approved and accepted into the program, you get what's called a storefront. A storefront is only for the Amazon Influencer Program. Other Amazon program is Amazon Associates. I don't know a whole lot about that. I just know that you don't get a storefront and that's how you would share your link to make commissions. But back to the Amazon Influencer Program. So I was definitely approved in under 24 hours. And I was able to make my storefront right away. The storefront is just a combination of items that you yourself purchase or you've tried out or that you want to influence people into buying. If you've checked out the storefronts of your favorite influencers, you can see that some might be super basic and then some are really, really detailed and curated and have a really nice aesthetic. As for me, I just put in products that I actually enjoy using or that I want to tell people about. So I enjoy setting up my storefront. I was able to customize it. And once that process was done, I was able to share the link with whoever I wanted to, to start earning commissions. These links you can share on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, pretty much anywhere you want to. I personally started by just sending out my links to friends and family. Hey, if you're gonna buy something, do you mind shopping for it through my link? And that was where I got my first few orders from and my first few commissions through family. So once you're accepted into the program, you have your storefront. They provide so many tips for you to be successful in the program. There's a Creators University I can't speak a lot about the programs and things that Amazon offers because they don't like you to share a lot about it or definitely the back end of things from your website 
on YouTube or other platforms, but I think that you can be accepted into the program and so you'll see this firsthand. A lot of people once approved for the Amazon Influencer Program want to join the Amazon on-site program because that's an easier way to make money. Basically, you record videos or you share shoppable photos and customers can buy from those items that you have listed and you earn money. Amazon is basically putting your video out for everyone on the site to see where you're not having to generate links to drive traffic. I've seen so many videos about how impossible the process seems to get approved for the program. And I myself was definitely denied the first time I applied. You need three videos. I would definitely recommend shooting them in horizontal format, whether on your phone, your computer, or your camera. And I just want to say, you don't need a camera to do any of this process. The videos that I finally did get approved, I shot from my phone. The first three videos I submitted, I know why I wasn't approved. However, when you submit your videos, what I didn't know, if you get the denial from your first three, you can click and find out why they were actually denied. I know my videos were denied because I spoke about a medical product. They don't mind you doing videos on the medical products, but they're very specific about what you can and cannot say. I went into too many details in my testimonial of the product and you can't make promises about medical things because the results vary from person to person. My other two videos, one, I didn't do a voiceover. I basically just recorded the item in use and that was it. My third video was fine. Um, I actually just re-recorded that when I applied again. The issue with being denied for the program is you only get three times to apply for the Amazon on-site program. So I was definitely very nervous after I realized I didn't get approved the first time. The second time I watched a lot of videos on YouTube, I went back and read the requirements for the videos, what you could and could not do. And again, Amazon provides that for you. I just did not read it thoroughly the first time. So when I submitted my first three videos, I was denied in a matter of five days. So I just went ahead and deleted all three videos, which you will need to do to reapply. When I did reapply, I again filmed my videos all horizontally. I did a voiceover. I talked about what I liked about the products and I gave my recommendation. I would love to share with you those videos right now, but I actually lost the footage. However, you can still see the videos that I use to be approved if you check the link below and click on my Amazon storefront. Again, if you bought something while you were checking out my videos, I will receive a small commission from that. But the purpose of me telling you to check out my storefront is you can kind of see how mine is curated what I have in there, but I don't have very many videos posted yet. So you can just scroll down and the first three videos I have posted are what I got accepted into the program with. Once you're accepted into the program, Amazon is free to use your videos to show customers about products. I was super excited when I saw one of my videos on a product page and when I got my first commission from that. Amazon does have a threshold of about $10 before they will pay you out. And I think you get paid about 60 days after you earn the commission. That gives them time to process any returns. I will say, for me, I'm not expecting to get rich this way. I just want to be able to, you know, buy a coffee, treat myself to something. Other tips I have for you once you're accepted into the program is if Amazon is offering any opportunities for education, whether it be online courses or Zoom, definitely take part in that. You want to stay up to date on everything that other influencers know and how they're doing it. And that's the best way is to find it directly from Amazon. 
I will also say, don't go over consume. Don't buy a lot of products from Amazon just to make these videos. I'm sure you have tons of products around your house. Even if you didn't purchase them from Amazon, as long as they sell the exact same product on Amazon, go ahead and do a video on it. What my plan is moving forward is to do batch content while my children are at school. So what I mean by that, I wanna gather all the products that I wanna talk about, sit down and film and edit them in one session and load them onto my seller hub, which is a part of the Amazon Influencer Program so that I can put them out whenever I want to. Other tips I have for getting accepted into the program for me, I believe it was a lot easier for me to get accepted because it was right around Amazon Prime. I believe I was accepted within a week before Amazon Prime this year started. So I think that they probably let a lot more influencers in during that time. I think right now is a great time for you to apply for the program because we're heading into quarter four, which is September, October, November, and December super busy time for websites like Amazon. It'd be easier to get accepted into the program. Again, I don't know, I'm just giving you my opinion. If you don't get accepted into the Amazon Influencer Program, that's perfectly fine. You can reapply at a later time and they also have other programs out there that you might get accepted into. I know that Walmart and Target currently have programs as well. I really hope that you got some value from this video. If you want to try to make some money as a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home parent in general, please apply for the Amazon Influencer Program. Check out my storefront. It is linked down below. If you have any questions or if you want to talk it up about how to get your three videos submitted for the on-site program once you're in as an Amazon Influencer, feel free to drop me a message below. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.